questions. Chris, go ahead. And um, how did you feel in that second quarter uh, tonight? And, and you know, how much did you maybe feed off of, of the crowd energy? And, and just you know, what was your mindset during that 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 little run you had there? Man, all I can say is the crowd brings a different type of energy to the gym. You know what I'm saying, like last year it was freezing in the gym. This year it's hot. Here, everybody, different atmosphere, man. It's just it's great. What do you think of you guys' defensive effort tonight, and, and how much of that set the tone for for the rest of the game to start? Um, uh, Joshua Kogi, man, he he brings a different type of uh, defensive intensity, defensive mindset to the game. Just him being locked in, it makes everybody else locked in because we got to help him. And if we do that, then you know we're a great team all around. And did this show you what you can do when you play defense like that, even when shots aren't falling early, that you can still build a little bit of a lead to give yourself some cushion until the floodgates open? Yeah, I mean, the game starts with defense. Like, if shots not falling, you got to defend to, you know what I'm saying, generate a transition, and then shots maybe start falling. But other than that, like I said, man, J.O. starts the defense for us, and we just feed off of that. You put in a lot of work on that shot this offseason. I don't know if it necessarily showed in the preseason game. So how good did it feel that it showed tonight? Um, yeah, preseason, man, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't play my best basketball. It was more more so that I would say I was just out there just to be out there. But I'm here now. And like, like you said, I put a lot of work in on my jumper. And hopefully it showed. And I just want to continue to show progress in it. It's like tonight when it is going like it did in the second quarter. Like, does that just feel good when the work leads to those results? Um, I mean, I don't even think about it as um, feeling good. I think about it as that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I put the work in, like I was, like I said um, previously, like a nine to five every day in the summer. So I mean, it, it should fall. You shot twelve threes tonight, much more than you drove to the basket, but you made half of your threes. In a normal course of events, do you think that you're going to be probably shooting more threes than drives, or is it just I mean, kind of mixing it up? I mean, yeah, because in order for the lane to open up, you've got to shoot threes or make them respect the jumper. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at how if I get a switch, Christian Wood, he's playing all the way back. So I got to hit a couple threes for him to come up to respect my jumper. So, I mean, in order for me to get down here, which I'm, I'm very good at, I got to hit jumpers. So that's why I worked on it so much. And you talked about the things you've worked on, obviously, over the course of the summer. Why, why are you a different player this season than you were last season? Um... Just I wanted to change my mindset, man. Just coming in every day, locked in. Um, I think um, me doing that is gonna just make me a better player all all around. So every game I try to come in, focus, locked in with a, a game ready mindset, and go from there. So what was that like last season? And just kind of adjusting to to a new setting, and now you kind of are more comfortable in it. Yeah, I mean, last year, I mean, everybody was just, we was just comfortable. Like, we was losing. Everybody was just coming, just practicing, going through it. This year, we got energy. Everybody happy. We want to see our brothers succeed. Um, you know what I'm saying? We playing with, with passion out there, and we plan to win this year. And you mentioned the crowd. Um, your, your first dunk of the year, could you just feel, like, the energy when, when you threw it down in that moment? Yeah, man, I felt like I was back at UGA, man. You know what I'm saying? Crazy fans, everybody there to support. It was all up. During that run in the second quarter, um, after that last three, uh, were you pretending to call it timeout? Like, yeah, scared? I was telling the coach, call it, call it damn timeout. <laughs> oh, man, need a timeout. I'm hot. Sure. I did, but I didn't realize the time. I didn't realize it was 20 seconds, so he couldn't call it timeout. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, obviously, and for you, was the biggest home crowd that you've played in front of since being in the NBA. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've probably seen it on TV, just guys feeling like they're blacking out out there when the crowd's just getting drawn behind. Did, did, did you feel like that at all tonight? And just how different did it feel tonight compared to, you know, last year? I mean, it was totally different, man. I mean, it's like night and day. Like the crowd last year, it was no crowd. The crowd this year, it's like no seats left. So, I mean, just we, we just want to uh, – pre we, we appreciate the fans being there. We just want to tell them to keep coming out. We're going to give them what they want to see. And, you know what I'm saying, they're the reason we're going to win. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.